global warming. The most pressing issue of our time. The nations of the world stand together through the Paris Agreement to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and aim to limit the global temperature increase to no more than 2 degrees Celsius. This is why Europe is planning to launch a series of new satellites to measure the concentrations of carbon dioxide, CO2, in the atmosphere, the most important man-made greenhouse gas contributing to climate change. Countries, cities and industries are now taking action to reduce emissions, but it's difficult for them to judge whether their measures are successful. The new satellites will help them in doing that. They will produce images of the CO2 plumes of large sources, such as cities and power plants. Images that can then be used to quantify emissions. CO2 concentrations are increasing globally due to human activity. CO2 from densely populated areas is then transported over long distances and can be detected hundreds of kilometers downwind, for example over the Atlantic Ocean. The satellites will fly in a sun-synchronous orbit, which means that they will always measure at the same time of day in the late morning. A single satellite can only cover a small part of the globe. Up to three satellites, shown here in different colors, will therefore fly in constellation to observe the entire globe within only a few days. Let's monitor an area over Poland and Germany with its power plants and a large city like Berlin. Because clouds are often blocking the view, many satellite overpasses are needed to estimate emissions with sufficient accuracy. The satellites will measure with a very high resolution and can zoom into any region of the world. Every single pixel has the size of 2 by 2 kilometers. This is needed to create an image of the plumes from individual sources. With this monitoring system, we can contribute to the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions and ultimately help preserve our planet.